Welcome back to Tech Tutorial Expert. Your one and only platform for comprehensive setup guide and troubleshooting setup issue. If you're in trouble then come in our channel you find the great and informative videos. Today in this video we will discuss about the TP-Link CPE 710 setup process. With the help of this guide we will walk through the easy and short steps that help to compete the setup process and provide the seamless connectivity all of your workstation. Firstly we start with the unboxing giving you the cleanest review of the product that what comes in the packet. Inside the TP-Link CPE 710 box, you'll find the CPE 710 outdoor unit, a power over Ethernet, PO, adapter for powering the device via Ethernet, an Ethernet cable, and a mounting kit for pole or wall installation. The box also includes a quick installation guide to help with setup and alignment. So let's start the setup process. Plug one end of an Ethernet cable into the LAN port of the CPE 710. Connect the other end of the cable to the PO port on the PO adapter. Plug another Ethernet cable into the LAN port on the PO adapter. Connect the other end to your computer or a network switch. Plug the PO adapter into a power outlet. Set your computer's IP address to be on the same subnet as the CPE 710. For example, set it to 192.168.0.10, with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Open a web browser and type http colon slash slash 192.168.0.254 into the address bar. Use the default login credentials, username, admin, password, Admin. You'll be prompted to change the default password on the first login, do so for security reasons. Navigate to Quick Setup or Wireless Dash Operation Mode. Select the appropriate mode access point, AP, Client, AP Router, Repeater. For most point to point setups, choose AP for one unit and Client for the other. Navigate to Wireless Dash Wireless Settings. Set the SSID network name that the device will broadcast if in AP mode. Choose the channel width and channel based on your environment. Try to avoid interference. Set the transmit power to the necessary level depending on the distance. Go to Network Dash LAN Settings. Set the CPE 710's IP address to a unique address within your network subnet to avoid conflicts, e.g., 192.168.0.2 for the client side if AP is 192.168.0.1. Save all settings and reboot the device. 